you can tell when your car battery's dying. But with your water heater, you'll never know until it starts leaking. Before you buy another tank, consider a Navian tankless water heater. No storage tank to heat or leak. Lower energy bills and endless hot water for spa-like comfort. All backed by Navian's strong warranty. If your water heater is over 8 years old, it's time to check out Navian at tanklessmadesimple.com. For the last 75 seasons, the NBA has been getting greater. It's been crossing over. Crossing borders, bending minds, breaking barriers, and shattering expectations. Because if the league's taught us one thing, it's that we can't predict anything. So don't miss one minute of the 75th anniversary season, where greatness lives on in every game. Visit nba.com 75 to learn more. Hey, this is BJ. Thanks for listening to our show's podcast. If you're a fan of all things geeky, you should check out my other podcast, BJ Shea's Geek Nation. We have new episodes every day, and you can check it out at BJGeekNation.com. Your home is going into foreclosure, and you feel like a financial wreck. You don't know where to turn for accurate information. I'm bankruptcy attorney Travis Gagné. Let's talk about some legal options. If we work quickly, we can propose a plan to save your home, modify the loan, or in many cases, even eliminate your second mortgage. The consultation is free. I've helped hundreds of people just like you make informed decisions about whether to save their home or exit it on a reasonable, organized timeline. The chapter you choose sets the tone for the next chapter of your life. Please contact me today at ChooseTheRightChapter.com. That's ChooseTheRightChapter.com. 99.9 KISW, The Rock of Seattle. Miller Lite. They have decided that uh, it's time for a new invention. They just created the Cantena. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Well, it's very simple, Rev. It's a can of Miller Lite with a digital TV antenna built in. So it's got a can with uh, basically these sort of rabbit ears on there. Well, the rabbit ears look like the uprights for a football. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that. Cool. That, that way you can play like football with it too. With like you know when you do like the quarter or the little piece of paper and you <laughs> kick it. Oh, that's yeah. Cool. yeah. So this this is a great invention, and uh, you just plug it into your television. You'll get networks like CBX, uh, Fox, and NBC, so you can watch all your football games. Is CBX the the naughty version? CBX, of CBX? is definitely <laughs> it's the all all access CBS After Dark. And uh, the ads for it rip off all my rowdy friends by Hank Jr. and and it makes fun of fans who watch games on illegal websites. Buddy, you refuse to pay for a basic cable package, and now you're stuck in an endless click hell of football streams that lay nowhere. You need the Cantena from Miller Lite. Cantena. Cantena. It's a can of beer with a built-in digital TV antenna made just so you and your pals can watch football for free. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. I love this commercial. It is a great commercial. It's always funny when someone's like, "I can't watch the games. I, I don't. I cut the cord. Blah 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 blah." Like you have a TV, just go to like Lowe's or now, you know, go go somewhere and go get not Lowe's. I guess you can get it at Lowe's, but like Best Buy and get one of the uh, antennas. Yeah, Target, any store that sells TVs, because that does work. Yeah, I mean, it's legally it's supposed to work. You're supposed to be able to get your regular basic network channels on an antenna. And it's not like the old antennas where it kind of stunk, where you had to put like some tinfoil on it or maybe stick it out your window or maybe hold your foot up in the air or something along those lines. Like they're kind of a, it's a digital antenna. Yeah, so which means you can get your high def channel. Yeah, baby. That's pretty cool. I want one of these. Right? Oh, you can't buy it, Steve. What the F? Sorry, man. Uh, you can win it, though, if you go to Miller Lite's website. Go there right now. Yep, I'm going right there yep. to sign up. Oh, man, I wonder who's going to win. Damn, you know. I, I doubt it's just me and Rev applying. Yeah, uh, yeah, I think it's just you guys. No yeah. one else is going to do it. Uh, great idea from Miller, but I think, you know, did they think people wouldn't buy these? Uh, there are people that would buy these. Uh, unless what their plan is. And and I wouldn't be shocked is that they're going to create such an uproar. Like, we want one of these. Like, you, you give a couple away. You have all these people that are trying to do it. Now you've got their emails. Hey, sorry you didn't win. Hey, good lose. We're now selling them. Yeah. And then, boom, Cantena in your house. I definitely would like a Cantena in my house because, uh, you know, uh, not... Uh, when are you going to use it? You have cable. Well, I do have cable, <laughs> but, you know, sometimes <laughs> I... I want to sell it on I, eBay. I, I want to do the football flicking thing. That's oh, what okay. I want it for. So you don't even want to use it for what it's, it's no. actually meant for. I mean, look, I can't... Li- I would put it next to it and tell people that's how I'm getting all my channels. I would screw with them and go, you just get this, you can get any channel you want, every channel you want. Yeah, but like, bro, I get Showtime with this. I get Hulu with this. What are you talking about? That's a, you have to, no, it's on my Cantena. They won't know, and then they'll go get it, and then, of course, they'll be like, you jerk. Wait, doesn't, it doesn't actually have beer in it? No, it's an it's actual, like, electronic device. Oh, I wanted the beer. 
Never mind. You can no. get the beer. You know, you can get the beer at the gas station. Yeah, any place you want to go, get Miller Lite, Danny. It's oh, pretty okay. easy. Yeah. And then just get like a hanger and bend it into the form of a thing. <laughs> <laughs> a football upright. <laughs> Pop yeah. it in there. And you're in. Boom. You've got a cantenna. you got a poor man's cantenna. You right. That's drinkable. All right, I'm back in. Nice. You, it says call now at 877-CANTENNA. So well, I think go. that's part of the joke commercial. Oh, I can't call that? I mean, you can try. We can try calling. I bet it's probably saying go to this website. Is that the right number of numbers? Uh, of yes, numbers? it is, as a matter of fact. Oh, oh, no, there isn't. Well, sometimes, though, the last le- in, in the old days, the last letter didn't mean anything. It was just, you just threw it in there. Yeah, because it's still, you know, the first seven would be all you needed. So we're going to call, uh, call 877-CAN and then T-E-N-N. We're going to do that? Yeah, let's try that. Let's see if we get it. It's like the old Mitch Hedberg joke where he's like, you know, I want my number to be 222-2222. And then someone's like, hey, what's your number? And he's like, just hit two a bunch of times and eventually I'll, ha- I'll answer. That's right. <laughs> it's like, that's and it's true. Right. He's right. Yeah. All right, here we Danny's go. Danny's a really slow dialer. Yeah, he is. Because Danny, it's just, well, he's doing the letters. Oh. Because he doesn't know what they are. Sarah was big on this, whatever they used to call this. Thing. Your call cannot be completed as dialed. Please eight? check the number and dial it. Really? So there's no 877 Cantana? Did you dial one? Yeah. All right. Well, I guess this is a... You well, know what? a bunk ad. I don't want this thing anymore. Are well, there any I other... just dialed wrong. I think uh, Rev's trying to. Maybe. Okay. Are there any other idiots trying this like us? No. no. I hope. <laughs> I really hope. We might be the only people. But you would think they would actually have something set up on that number. I would too, yeah. Yeah. But they probably, that's too much thought put into it. Did wow. you do 877 yeah. and not 1-900? Yeah. No, it yeah. doesn't work. It doesn't oh. work. Ah, okay. oh, dang it. It's BS. Try yeah. one 900 cantenna. <laughs> oh, wow. Does they even have 900 ni- lines anymore? I don't know. Let's find out. <laughs> ah, the old 900 lines. Yeah, that's that's a day gone by. It's a different kind of can that they're talking about. That's right. <laughs> that's cans, Tenna. Well, nice. speaking of that, we have a woman that's stripped naked at a gym. And why? Because they wouldn't let her kitty inside. Huh? Is that euphemistic? I mean, because you can just... Well, well, Steve will tell you all about it. He's got the mix report for you. He'll do it for you at 617 on The Rock. BJ and Migs. Mornings on The Rock. 99.9 KISW. Get Macy's lowest prices of the season on great fall specials like glamorous diamond pendants and earrings to complete any look. Now 60% off. And get ready for cooler nights ahead with 65% off Charter Club damask sheets and bedding. Now at Macy's. Plus get your Macy's order faster when you pick up curbside or in store. Or try same day delivery powered by DoorDash. Savings off sale and clearance prices. Exclusions apply. For the last 75 seasons, the NBA has been getting greater. It's been crossing over, crossing borders, bending minds, breaking barriers, and shattering expectations. Because if the league's taught us one thing, it's that we can't predict anything. So don't miss one minute of the 75th anniversary season, where greatness lives on in every game. Visit NBA.com 75 to learn more. 99.9 KISW The Rock of Seattle. Well informed on the issues of the day? Not this guy. Live from the KISW News Center in downtown Seattle, this is the Migs Report. Well, thanks, you guys. Thanks to Mercedes Benz of Seattle for giving us the Migs Report. And today, a very special day. It's, I'm not kidding, it's National Stay Away from Seattle Day. Really? Yes, it's created by a guy that decided, you know what? Everybody in Seattle can stay here, but everyone else. Get away from our city. Give us a break from the influx of people moving to the area. No planes. No buses in. Nothing. Just stay away from Seattle. This is interesting. How long has this been a day, do you know? Uh, since, I think, 2018. Oh, okay. It's well, been going on for a little bit. Wow, this guy is a friendly person. Well, you know, they always say, hey, oh, yeah, Californians, stay away from here. Yeah, I, that's, that's why I thought it was older than 2018. It could be. At least yeah. that's when it showed up on the calendars. But I thought that was kind of funny that it's actually on this stupid website where I wow. find all this stuff. Check S- Checkaday.com. Stay away from SeattleDay.com. Okay. But more important, I think today is Spicy Nugs Day. Yeah. I'm proclaiming it Spicy Nugs Day because oh, really? today is the official day that you can go to McDonald's to enjoy some spicy chicken McNuggets, Woo! which makes me think... Danny was able to get on, get in on the inside. Yeah, how's that, Danny? No, no, no. I just went and they had him. Yeah, or, or maybe Danny's lying to us and he just got regular Danny. chicken nuggets. He doesn't have a, his, yeah. his sense of taste. Were you high? Regular. Is that what Did it you was? Have COVID? Yeah. No sense of taste. <laughs> wow. No, I tried the spicy nuggets and they were delicious. 
But how is it that they're launching today and I, you had them already? I don't know. Shout out to West Seattle. They have everything before. Yo, yo, yo. Else. He's got the hookup at the QFC at West Seattle. Yeah. Was it Marcos? Yeah, yeah. Marcos. Yep. Did he hook you up with these spicy nugs? <laughs> I, I, wish, no. I wish I had a friend like Marcos. Uh, he gets at Danny everything. He gets at Danny everything. Hey, Danny, would you like everything? I mean, Danny wasn't even allowed to come to Seattle because of National State of Hell out of Seattle Day. And Marcos true. smuggled him in. It's true. Yeah. I had to swim across. It was great. Oh, nice. <laughs> from, from, with the, the sound. sound? Yeah, from West Seattle. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Good work. Well, let's talk about this woman. Uh, she's in Taiwan. And, well, she was mad because she went to a gym to work out, I guess. All right. I did not know that this is even a thing that you would even consider doing this. But she wanted to bring her cat inside to the gym. Like She wanted to work out with her pet. Okay. She's 56 years old. She's definitely oh. going to be a nominee for the crazy cat lady. All right. I don't think it has to be about the, the number of cats. I think it's just how you use your cats. And, yeah, she showed up to the world gym and was mad because, well, look, they, they did not allow her to bring her cat in. So what did she do? She took off her clothes. Oh. Apparently, they stripped her of her membership, and she stripped in front of them. Oh, I get it. She's like, yeah, I was not happy with their strict no pet rules and got buck naked. She also then said that she had a gun and a hand grenade. I'm not sure where she was hiding those. <laughs> Actually, she said that before taking off her clothes. Yeah, then they found out. Oh, I guess you don't have a gun in hand. Here's the best part. All of this insanity went on for about 30 minutes until they were finally able to subdue her to put her clothes back on. And then the police showed up and uh, took her for a medical checkup by paramedics. I think so. What is wrong with people? Oh, dude, it's COVID. People have lost their damn minds. You think that has something to do with COVID? I think that just has to do with her being a crazy cat lady. Well, she might have already been on the way, but COVID hasn't helped. Yeah, you're probably right. That'd be awesome to go to the gym with Lulu. No, it wouldn't. For me, it would. I know. But, <laughs> you know, that's the thing about pet owners. Do you understand that not everybody loves your pet? Yes. I know you do, but my gosh, I mean... <sighs> everybody loves Lulu. Except for you. No, I don't. <laughs> Except I don't. for you, you. It, it you, frust- you. Well, I, you know, it just, I, I'm not going to go into it. It's just, you know, you love your pet. Keep it at your house and keep it around the parks and where you want to go. How many, pl- you want to bring the damn thing everywhere and not everybody loves pets. I love that you said, I'm not going to get into it. And then you just went on for a paragraph. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was going to get into it even more, but oh. I'm done. All right. Well, how about this pet? A monkey. Have you always wanted a monkey? I love this. This is the headline of the day. And I really just, just read the headline. Monkey stole man's smartphone, filled it with selfies. Oh. Really? This happened in, a, in Malaysia. I guess a 20-year-old computer science student, he's like, what the hell? My, my, my smartphone is gone. He was able to finally find out about it because, well, there was a monkey in his house. <laughs> took the phone. That's awesome. And, and just took a bunch of pictures with it. So he did he know there was a monkey in his house? I guess not at the moment, no. You know, there are countries where, I mean, where monkeys run around like dogs. Like, they're, they're just, they're so they're right. so uh, present that, and they are very bold. Yeah, well, yeah, I guess the dad noticed the monkey outside of the house, and that's when they were able to figure out, oh, he must have grabbed the phone, took some pictures. Imagine you got monkeys outside your house, like, just like birds and, you know what I mean, and cats and stuff, and there's monkeys running around. That would be weird, man. That would be very, very weird. Yeah. I mean, sometimes I'm like, whoa, there's a rabbit. But, like, that's common. Yeah, exactly. And even I don't see rabbits. You know, I, I, I see them a lot more these days because I think they're blanking like rabbits. But but imagine, yeah, like, it's just my, and monkeys take your stuff. They really, they come at you. Oh, this just in, uh, according to the Way High Window guy, he was at the Fairwood McDonald's yesterday. They also had the spicy nugs. <laughs> Wait, so were they, these were soft launches and this is the hard launch? Yes. Well, all right then. Well, now, today's the day. Also, I guess you could do, like, with their app, a buy one, get one free. What? So that way you could get the spicy nugs and then the regular nugs if you're disappointed by the spicy nugs or you just eat them all you're doing a taste test that's what you do side by side with the buy one get one downtown Puyallup mcdonald's they've had the spicy nugs for a week they call that bogo oh buy one get one (laughs) oh yeah (laughs) bogo they also uh um recommend the spicy mcchicken that they have now too it's a chicken sandwich that's spicy and it just have you tried that oh yeah they had those in new mexico freaking marco his friend yeah, Marcos. Marcos, yes. Oh, Marcos. That's probably why he's yeah. not my friend. I don't say his name right. Mariners were supposed to play yesterday but because of the air condition, not air conditions. Yeah. Air con- yeah, air conditions over in San Francisco. They I'm had glad you the corrected game. yourself when you weren't wrong. <laughs> I wasn't wrong. <laughs> <laughs> nice going. I caught myself. So they moved the games to Seattle, so they're going to be playing today Actually, at they 645. Moved, they moved the games to San Francisco. Huh? Yeah, they're not playing in Seattle. They're playing in San Francisco. I thought it was the other way around. No. Check it out. Really? Pretty sure they're playing in San Francisco at Oracle Park, buddy. But I thought San Fran has worse air conditioning. No, actually, we are the wor- we're worse than them now. Oh, well, or at least congratulations, worse- Seattle. Yeah, we're worse enough that they actually had to go to San Francisco to play. 
Oh, I, wow. Oh, yeah, you know, mind. you're absolutely right. I misread it. My yeah. bad. Sorry. I like yeah. to apologize to you, BJ, in San Francisco. <laughs> but look at or- but look at the picture of Oracle Park. It looks a lot worse than where we are. That's why I figured. I was like, I see that picture. Yeah. So they're going to San Francisco. Apparently, California doesn't care if the air conditioning is bad. They just go, if the conditions are bad, they don't care. But here in Seattle, we care. Well, how about that? Yeah. Well, there you go. That's what they're going to be doing. That's what's up. Good luck, Mariners. <laughs> yeah. Boy, they can't put the roof up and uh, that doesn't keep the bad air? <laughs> yeah, it's not a dome. If we were, actually, if we had the kingdom, we'd be fine. See that? It looks like the kingdom shouldn't have been imploded after all. Can't they just, you know, put some box fans on the top of it and just kind of let it blow around a little bit? You know what? Science is both of your strong suits. (laughs) Can you get spicy nugs at Safeco or T-Mobile Park? (laughs) Okay. Would you two like a reset, both of you? No. Oh, this is great. No, I'm, I'm feeling good about You're today. Good. You're doing a great I job. great about today. All right. How about the Islanders yesterday? Double overtime. They live to play again. They beat the Tampa Bay Lightning 2-1 to one in double OT. So now the Tampa Bay Lightning have a 3-2 series lead. Uh, they play again tomorrow to see what's going to happen with the, the Stanley Cup Eastern Conference Finals. I guess they're calling it like the comeback of all time. The Denver Nuggets just came back from a 3-1 deficit. This is the second time they've done it in one preseason. They came back from the Jazz in the first round, and they just came back from a 3-1 deficit to beat the Clippers last night. Isn't that insane? Yeah. Well, apparently this is going to be your finals. It's going to be the Nuggets and Lakers because apparently the Eastern Conference in basketball is not that good. Can they change their name to the Denver Spicy Nuggets? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Only for today. Let's ask Marcos. Does Marcos approve that? He's, yeah, he's uh, good. Very good. Perfect. Should they just purposely just lose three games just to kind of put themselves in a good That's advantage? what you got to do. Apparently, I mean, I, that would be the magic. If the Nuggets come out and win the first game, I'll be like, oh, this isn't looking good. And as far as weather, we've got 75 degrees. We have unhealthy air today, so... Don't go play baseball at uh, T-Mobile Park. No, huh? go uh, go down to San Francisco <laughs> and have the I same just, unhealthy air. Yeah, I just saw that they postponed. I, I at first my first thought was oh, I thought they were playing a home stand for the rest of the season. Yeah, I was like, okay, well maybe I was wrong about that because I thought for sure that San Fran was like dealing with worse air conditioning. Yeah, or air conditioning. <laughs> air conditioning. <laughs> now you said it wrong. <laughs> I'm done. You, you also you said did it wrong. Too, BJ. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so, but you know what? I did correct myself. <laughs> hey, look, we might be wrong, but Danny and Rev are just as wrong because a lot of people are texting and saying that the Cantena number that we talked about earlier, <laughs> okay. the Norlight yeah, Cantena, it right. actually works. It works. What do you mean? Has beer? No, that you can call that number and somebody does answer. Oh, the number itself. Yeah, we called it earlier and Danny and Rev couldn't get through. What the hell's wrong with you, Danny and Rev? Well, you know. Bad at dialing. Okay, let's see. We're going to try calling it now. Seriously, we're going to do it again with these idiots. Hey, hey, spoiler alert. Apparently, they congratulate you for being on your way uh, to not being an illegally streaming criminal. Okay. I feel like we're going to fail at it again. Of course we are. This, Danny doesn't know how to do letters. Maybe we should get out of Seattle today. Yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> Celebrate the day. I think you're absolutely right. Oh, there we oh, go. Okay. This is what happens when you type in numbers correctly. You're welcome. All right. I think Danny owes us some uh, spicy chicken nuggets, well, doesn't he? Let's be the judge until we... Uh, Thank you for calling. Oh, here we go. Press 1 if you are a new customer. What? Press 2 oh, that's a totally if you are different an existing line. customer. But I'm not... I mean, I think I'm an existing customer of Miller Lite. I drank it. I don't think we can let yeah, Danny dial down numbers anymore. What is going on? Danny. <laughs> Rev, down you know what, Rev? <laughs> Vicky, would you, if you could, just find out what those letters mean and put them, like, the real numbers on there and then give Danny that spell? number? Do you I, know gave it, I, gave yeah. I gave it to him. I gave it to him. Okay. Yeah, we're is. following Rev's instructions. But, Rev, you got it wrong, too. Yeah, I did get it wrong, but then I tried it again during the break and I got it right. And then we get it wrong when it's not the break. This is the best yeah, radio show in history. Again. Okay, let me try it on my side. We're here. doing, by the way, we're doing a three, panel three. today for radio convention why? online about how good we are. And this <laughs> is number? why. Oh, wait, what number is this? Maybe if we continue to do this so bad, the people that are doing the panel, what is going? The people doing the panel will hear this and say we don't want you on the panel. Yeah. And by the way, Rev, could you leave the dial Oops. tone on as much as possible? Leave it as oh, long you don't like as that? possible. You don't like that? The greatest sound ever. Oh, Steve, seriously, I put this on. I put this on you. I didn't ask because them to I didn't want to hire either one of these guys. You did, All so right. I'm just All saying. Right. Let's see if I got it this time. Five, uh, you buy breakfast if you got it wrong. Oh yes. Ooh, all right, there we go. Oh, of course I'll get it right because I want breakfast. All right, that's what I heard last time. Come on, come on, Rev. You're buying breakfast if this is wrong. Come on, buying breakfast. Show me the money. Yes. <laughs> Thank like. you for calling. Damn it! Press one if you are in the. Rev got the number off. You are an existing customer. I would like a Miller Lite for breakfast, please. <laughs> Sarah, <laughs> we're, gonna, we're getting breakfast at Starbucks. Get that pad of paper ready. Woo! 
Red, do you have anything to say for yourself? Damn it. Uh, he has <laughs> thanks for breakfast. I think that's what I have to say for myself. Oh, this is a great day indeed. Oh, man. I didn't make that bet. Let the winning begin. I'm getting a slow roast ham it. breakfast sandwich is what I'm going to get. Mm. I want to keep on trying it. With a nice cup of joe from our good folks at Starbucks. Thanks to the Reverend in Fuego and the Betty made with Steve that we all heard. Yes. Yeah. There we go. Someone well, I said this is amazing radio. Yeah, I agree. Is. Yeah, I can't wait to do this seminar today. Yeah. That'll be great. Uh, should we go on to something else? Yeah. Should we give Rev another try? Ooh, double or nothing? No, for tomorrow. Oh, I want breakfast though. He's already said. He's already double said. or nothing. What the hell? I didn't even do the first part. Oh, you're gonna welch out of that? <laughs> welch out of it? You're yelling at it while trying to dial a number. It was your fault. Uh, uh, no pressure. Uh, yeah. All right. Let me see if I can do it again. Okay. 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 All right. Okay. Hold on. All right. Hold on. All right. 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 If all right. you're willing to do it again and you get it wrong. We get breakfast. Are you willing to put your money where your mouth is? Yes. He said yes. Yes. Uh, all right. That's, Danny, oh, yeah. if he's wrong, uh, he, he buys breakfast. But Danny, if he's right, you buy breakfast. What? Wait, what? Are you in for that? Oh, yeah. Come on, that. Danny. This no, has been fine. the worst radio in the history of radio. I don't know. I'm pretty entertained by it. All right. So here we go. We get breakfast. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wait, 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 I'm so pumped. pumped. Uh, See, Steve, you got to negotiate these deals so we get it all no matter what. Six, four, five. Oh, Daniel's Eight, eight yeah. six, nine. All right, let's see. All right, all right, let's see if we got this. Oh Are you an existing customer? <laughs> then you will have to buy breakfast. See, it does that little click thing. Which I think this is, is for thing. the uh, Miller Lite. I don't think that's a good thing. Can no, it antenna. Good which is it was good the last time. time. Yeah, on, on, their, on their commercial, they put a number. That said, for calling. Damn it! Yeah! Yeah! If you are a new customer. Breakfast on the red! If you are an existing oh, customer. Oh, I love it! <laughs> This is the Dad, best right thing? day ever. He doesn't even have a dial and phone. Yeah. Even, and he made the best. Let's try one more thing. Hold on. No, no we're not. No, we're, we're good. good. We're good. We're, good. we're happy. We're going to put our the breakfast. on this. We got our breakfast. That's I all we want. Yeah. Are you guys smoking weed? Yeah, I think we, we should. Yeah, we are. We're just trying to get a free breakfast is really what it is. Uh, all right. Yesterday, Steve, he Damn. did get this one wrong. <laughs> Who will be hosting this season of Dancing with the Stars? I don't know. Um, Joe Exotic. No. <laughs> um, uh, Aaron Andrews. No. Uh, Steve Harvey. No. Steve Harvey would be a great host for Dancing with the Stars. I don't know why they didn't pick him. He announces the winners wrong all the time. It'd yeah. Be great. How cool is that? Uh, the correct answer is Tyra Banks. Uh, bit of a controversy because Tom Bergeron and Aaron Andrews actually co-hosted it and they got booted and people are like, what? I'm not because I don't care. Uh, you want a shot at beating Steve? You got it. 206421 Rock. Beat Migs at 647. Today's podcast was brought to you by Travis Gagne, bankruptcy attorney. Here's another question from a listener. If I can't afford to pay my bills, how am I going to afford attorneys and bankruptcy fees? You know, one of the things people ask me all the time as a bankruptcy lawyer is that how am I going to pay all these fees and costs because I'm here because I can't afford to pay my bills. And, I, of course, we understand that. I mean, being, being in, in the bankruptcy field... Uh, but you know, one of the things to remember is is that if you decide once you make the decision to file bankruptcy, you can stop paying on all of the creditors that are going to be included in the bankruptcy, and those are the funds that you can use that you have been paying your creditors to pay your your attorney fees and court costs to get your case filed. And once your case is filed, you're not going to have most of those payments anymore. Thanks, Travis. If you have more questions about bankruptcy, you can reach out to Travis anytime at choosetherightchapter.com. That's choosetherightchapter.com. Thanks for listening. Get Macy's lowest prices of the season on specials for cooler weather, like cute boots and booties starting at $27.99. And warm new coats for all, 50 to 60% off. And get cafe-style coffee at your fingertips with select Nespresso bundles for only $124.99. Now at Macy's. Plus, get your Macy's order faster when you pick up curbside or in-store. Or try same-day delivery powered by DoorDash. Savings off sale and clearance prices, exclusion supply. 